Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs. Welcome back to another Let's Build video. In the first of our Let's Build series, I showed you guys how to make this pretty simple medieval house. Since then, I've decided it's going to be a farmhouse. So I've expanded the area into this wheat field here. And today's tutorial is going to focus on creating a hay cart. Now, this is kind of a rustic design, so your mileage may vary when it comes to using this. But Overall, I think it's probably a good time to visit a hay cart design because in 1.9 hay bales are going to limit fall damage by about 75%. So you're only going to take 25% of the damage you would normally take from fall damage if you land on hay. So I think now is the perfect time to get familiar with building some of these so you can place them strategically in your world to help you drop off high places without taking huge amounts of fall damage. This is a, a design I've mocked up in this world. It's pretty much based on a medieval kind of style design. It's got a couple of really interesting details which we're going to visit in a second. I'm going to do this in a 1.9 snapshot world mainly because you can place trapdoors pretty much anywhere you want in 1.9 and around the back here especially I wanted this to be kind of a complete tailgate with the trapdoors here but you can't place them attached to fences or this block of growing wheat. So I'll see you over there and we'll show you how to build it. Hey, welcome back. So we're going to be building this in the 1.9 snapshot and we're going to start off by listing a few of the ingredients you will need. This is not absolutely everything because I'm going to be adding a couple of details along the way, but just so it stays a little bit organized to the stuff that I can have in my hotbar so I don't have to keep reaching in and out of the creative inventory. You'll need some spruce wood and oak wood stairs. Some oak and spruce slabs will be great as well. You'll need a bunch of hay bales, obviously, they're going to be the key component to this. Fences, trap doors, and a couple of chickens and a couple of leads. Now, I'll show you exactly what those are used for in a minute. Obviously, if you're in survival, you won't have access to chicken spawn eggs, but regular eggs will probably work fine eventually, and you can always just lure a couple of chickens in using leads or seeds if you like. Now, we're going to start off by making the kind of the arms of this. I don't know exactly what to call them other than arms, but if you put two sets of oak stairs like that, add trap doors to the front like so and build another set of oak stairs inverted on the back like that. This is going to form the basis of your cart. If you add trap doors on the top like that, obviously we're in 1.9 so you can add them anytime. If you're building this in for example 1.8 you can always add the spruce wood slabs which are going to go on next, add the oak wood slabs on top of that and then add the trap doors attached to those oak wood slabs. That should work fine. Obviously the luxury of building in 1.9 is that we can just place the trapdoors anytime we want to. Now between these two here you're going to be putting two oak wood slabs kind of there which is going to look like you can lead the hay bales down from between the arms once the horses are unyoked but on the back here we're going to be adding two more of those as well and a detail I like to add is to put signs on the side of this to give it like a little bit of panelling that kind of thing. Now. Next up, from the back of this, we are going to be building out underneath here, like so, and then taking out that slab there. And this will give us the one block high slab. It'll be just about raised off the ground, but that's going to be where we start to build the floor of the hay cart itself. And now I'm going to build this probably four by five, something like this. And then we want to add another one, two, three, four on the back. So it's going to be four by six in the end. And that's going to be the base of the hay cart. That's where all the hay bales are going to go, probably up to about here and here like that and then this last bit is going to be kind of like a, a tail section so next up we want to add the wheels if you add two spruce stairs like this and then take that one out so it's inverted like that and then add the oakwood stairs on top of that and we're going to do that at each end of the cart we're going to leave two blocks gap in between the wheels just to make sure that they have a little bit of space in between and this is a fairly basic wheel design obviously there are much more complicated wheel designs out there I just think it's nice to do something a little bit basic this time around because the rest of the car is going to be so detailed you're not going to really want to look at the wheels all that much now the cart is coming together nicely and at this point you're probably wondering Pix, what on earth are the chickens for? Excellent question my friend, I will answer that for you now. Come into the, more or less the middle of your cart at the front and dig a hole in the cart panelling here and then dig a hole underneath there in the dirt. Place a trap door down there and spawn a chicken in this space then close up the trap door again. This chicken is going to provide one of the most interesting details of this cart which is that the fences you're going to be placing on the corners here and here can have 
have leads attached to them and that will give the impression that they're kind of bound up with rope like that. So if you attach the lead to the chicken in the hole and then attach the lead to the fence there, it's going to look like it's got some additional binding on there. And I think that's a fantastic design. Probably not the first time that's been used. I'm pretty sure I've seen it elsewhere to make it look like there are leads attached to things. But... That's pretty much concealed the trap door down under there now. We're going to add a couple of extra touches to the side. You could always grow up some grass around it or put some additional hay bales around like this, like the cart has been unloaded, and you'd never know the chicken is there except for the noise. A way you can get around that is by building these little kind of trap door cages that it's now possible to make in 1.9. So if you place them all facing that way, I think it's a fantastic addition that trap doors now end up getting placed the way that you're facing. And if you do that, then throw a chicken down inside of here and then very carefully attach a trapdoor to the top like that. You can make the chicken noise appear that way. So you can just, everyone can pass it off as the fact that the chicken is in the cage in front of the cart and nobody will even think to look underneath the cart where you have your chicken placed under there. And once you're happy with that, you wanna fill up the rest of the cart with hay as much as possible. Leave a gap here at the back and we're gonna be taking out this one here to do something a little bit special with. But for now, just fill up the rest of the cart with hay. Go as high as you want within reason, obviously, but make sure that the hay is gonna be the most prominent thing especially if you want this to be a cart that you can fall onto from a great height. Once you've done that, place the trapdoors around the outside. You should have no problem doing this in 1.9 because you can place trapdoors pretty much anywhere. And as you can see now, they attach to that fence there. I'm gonna be adding one in here, just attached to this one and then take out that trapdoor. And then we'll do something with that in a minute. Just place the trapdoors as paneling all the way around the outside and at the front here as well, just so it looks like the hay is nice and contained. I would have done that with ladders and rails, making it look like it's strapped down, like you do with logging camps and that kind of thing. But the problem with that is if you fall onto the rails, it's not gonna have the same benefit as falling onto the hay block when it comes to limiting the amount of fall damage you take. So if you wanna add that detail, it's completely up to you. But personally, I think it removes from the functionality of the hay cart. So at this point, the cart is looking pretty good, just needs a little bit of extra panelling, and for that we're going to add some signs here around the outside. I also like adding a couple of signs to the back here as well to make it look like it has like a licence plate or even some kind of fastening that something could be hitched to at the back in case you want like a second wagon coming off the back. Anyway, next up, once we place the signs, we're going to do a couple of extra details around here. One of the cool things you can do with this, especially if your cart is facing the <laughs> at a right angle to this, because right now it's going to hoe the land in one particular direction, you can place farmland like this. Um, I've hidden a water source block nearby so it doesn't despawn, so it doesn't get uh, turned back into dirt. But like I said, if the cart is facing that way, I think that's south. If it's facing north-south, then this is going to look like really good kind of vehicle ruts. Uh, in the ground and because all the kind of hoed furrowed field lines will be facing the same way now because we're facing east west that's not really an option so what you might want to do since this is 1.9 is use a shovel to create those fancy new path blocks and that's going to make it look like the wheels have left an impression on the ground behind and obviously if you're doing this in a completely generated world then there's going to be kind of landscape all the way around this so you might want to kind of cut a path through or make it look like it's kind of had a bit of a bumpy ride over there that's totally up to you we can remove this water source over here now unfortunately you're not going to be able to do that right here because you won't be able to do that with the block occupied by these signs so you might even want to take those signs away if you want to complete the illusion around here alternatively use something like soul sand which has more or less the same height as these dirt paths i think it's even ever so slightly higher but you will be able to put the signs in there as well so we'll pop those back on for now next up what we want to do is what i mentioned here where we're going to take out this block here add that in and you'll notice now that it's got a sign there it's kind of concealing the fact that there is a dirt block just sticking out from the underside of the cart we're going to hoe that we're going to add some seeds and we're going to bone meal it real quick just so it grows nice and big and that is going to make it look like there isn't a complete bale of hay there it's just got a little bit of wheat growing up and maybe even that some seeds have fallen out and have decided to kind of grow inside the bounds of the cart. You can do the same thing here, especially if it's surrounded by uh, the hay bale blocks there, um, and it'll just make it look like the, the cart has a little bit more texture in it. Now, obviously, that is going to limit the space that you can fall. It's going to remove a couple of blocks that you can safe fall onto these hay, hay bales from, 
but it's going to look pretty good. It's going to add a little bit of atmosphere to the cart, just a little bit of extra detail that will set it apart from everyone else's. And for the final test, I'm up here 100 blocks in the sky. Now, this is a super flat world, so sea level is at about 5. And from what I understand, you can probably take about 100 blocks of fall damage without dying. So I'm going to switch back into survival mode right now, and we're going to give this a try. Here we go, folks. Almost there. Boom. And we have survived. We have completely survived that fall from 100 blocks up in the air. And obviously, I'm on peaceful, so my health is regenerating pretty fast. But that is pretty effective so i imagine people are going to want to build a bunch of these in their 1.9 worlds thank you very much for watching this tutorial my name has been pixel riffs please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and i'll see you guys soon bye for now Today we're going to build this house. It's going to be kind of like a starter house really. All of the materials you've got in here are pretty basic. You would need a sheep farm potentially for all of the wool and that kind of stuff and you'd need to find spruce wood and oak wood and that kind of stuff near your starter position.